Hello, this is Zelda. Oh, Nanami. <laughs> My Tamagotchi. Hello, this is Zelda. Today I want to share with you guys how I used to make my comic pages, the short stories that I published on the past, like the Myth series. Uh, lately, I, I've been trying to focus on making a, an art book. That's why I took a break from making more comic. Uh, but during that break, I also wanted to continue making some other fan comic for uh, other novels that I was reading and so I began making more of a, like a webtoon format like the vertical scrolling but it's more of a, a sketchy sketchy thing so it's all very rough I just sketch out everything in in, in my computer so I don't I haven't been doing this for the past two three years but this is how I used to do it if I want to eventually publish my uh, comic into book format which I did with the myth series I self-published them so they're, they're actual little books um, I, I used to whenever I get the idea for the story I would sketch out the pages in little thumbnails like this this one is the rough thumbnails for Birth of Athena, Athena's short story, Distillation. You can read them all on Tapas. If you search Tapas Zelda CW. So I would imagine the scenes and the dialogues all at the same time and roughly sketching my legs. And then this one was a much shorter story, so I just only needed a few thumbnails. And then other stories, like the story for Prometheus, was a little bit, a little bit more complicated. So I would also note down some important things and the timeline for the whole story. Not necessarily how I tell the story, but the timeline of the the big <laughs> the, the, the entire plot. Yeah, and then pick where I want to start telling the story. So that's how I used to work the first stage of notes, summary, uh, character character features, character notes, relationship with other characters, um, some important design notes, like he has the mark on his forehead and stuff. This is my Prometheus, by the way. And Prometheus, how he would interact with other characters like Zeus and Metis. So I note, I sketch them out all in my sketchbook first, and then, and then I would follow the thumbnails. And then make them in Clip Studio Paint like this. So, this is Clip Studio Paint. A very, very nice program. I, I love the fact that they have this uh, project manager thingy that you can just see all the pages at once like this. Mm, so, this, is, this will be page one. I mean, when you first start, of course, it won't look like this. This is when I finished the whole thing. When you first start, let's imagine I start start over. Like, oh, I just got my thumbnail sketched out. So, from the, from the thumbnails, I know how many pages this story is going to have. Uh, roughly. Sometimes I might make changes and revision. So, I might take away or add more pages. But roughly, it'll be the same. You can also just add more pages and delete pages afterwards, after you set up the, the file. So right now, we'll just start with 36. Let's say, yeah, I'm going to have 36 pages. And I'm going to name it something. Right now, I'm just showing you as an example. So I'm not going to name it. I'm, I'm going to delete that later. But your new project file will look something like this with all the blank pages laid out. And just 
start with page one, click into it. And how I make my pages, it will be something like I I'm using one of my existing pages as an example. So I will rough out the page like this, following my thumbnail. So it's like a large version of my thumbnails that was in my sketchbook. You can see it's it's really messy. Right? Very rough. Um just like my thumbnail in my sketchbook <laughs> and then with this rough draft I'm gonna go over kind of lighten the opacity and then digitally ink the lines refine the lines like, like this one and then putting other panels Add the tones. And the speech balloons. Last but not least. Voila. <laughs> if only if only it could be this fast in reality. But yeah, this is how I make each page. And just, just here's another example. So the rough draft. Very rough. Sometimes I put in a little bit more detail into the rough draft. That will make my like inking, digital inking, lining easier. So here's lower the opacity of the rough draft. Trace over it. Ink it. Ink that one. Other panels. In the panels, line, tone, shade. Oh, that's the text. <laughs> and the text, word balloons. And last step is to get rid of the rough draft. And then it's done. So it will be like this, go through every single page following the thumbnail in the sketchbook and eventually finish the whole story. With the sketchbook, uh, oh I forgot to mention the dialogues, I would kind of work with the thumbnails and the dialogues simultaneously, kind of back and forth because I'll also type out the dialogues in the word document. And then sometimes I would edit the dialogue to to make it fit the, the, the scenes or like the, the pacing, the panels. So just well, I work, work with both at the same time, I guess. Sometimes I might edit the thumbnail, the, the, the paneling to make the dialogue flow better. So that's pretty much how I make the pages mm. and then at the end when we finish everything export this whole thing export into uh, wait it's been a while how did I do it oh actually I save as JPEG first because <laughs> I need to post it online on tapas so I save it as individual JPEG first and then I convert everything, combine it and convert it into a big PDF file and send that to self-publishing uh, website. I use lulu.com, uh, pretty much a really nice self-publishing website. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything, it's just <laughs> I, found, I found them pretty pretty like easy to use and I've been using it for ever since I self-published the very first myth story, uh, my seasons. So yeah, it's been more than 10 years. Mm. Now, this is the last one I have in the mid series. Actually, I'm pretty proud of myself for making this logo, actually. <laughs> it's nothing to do with how I make comic but just want to mention. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just suddenly felt like I want to design... What's that called? An, an, or, or the an. 
anagram, like the thing that you can read it both ways by flipping over. So it's inflammation, inflammation. I think I did an okay job designing this logo. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that's how I make my comic pages. And using lulu.com, self-publishing the books, so they print into a nice little book like this. Okay. Just make sure you, uh, when you set up the file, make sure it is the right size of the size of the book that you want to publish in the end, if you're going to print it, and it has the correct bleed, the, the cropping crop mark around your, your pages. If you see these lines, the box around it, to be safe. The outside this one is the crop mark, the trim mark, like uh, outside this line things might be trimmed off. And then so the inside box, this smaller one, that will be the safe, the safest area. So all the important words and text should stay inside that box. And you can see all my word balloons are definitely inside the inside box. So this is inflammation printed. Just make a cover file. I made I made a spread cover file. So it looks like this front and back. When it's printed, let me find the same page. <laughs> the same page. Try here. And young. Zeus say no to Prometheus. Yeah. So you can see part a little bit is cropped off, but not too much, so it's not too bad. But to be safe, keep your speech balloon inside the inner box. So that's what it looks like printed. Volume 1 of information and volume 2. This is the limited, or not limited, <laughs> but the first. Edition like the first I used I used to only print the first 100 ish copies with this special cover and then after that after that the copies that I put on my uh, bookshop will be the standard edition so these covers so you can't really get these ones anymore. I can still get these. I, I still I also like these covers. I also put in a lot of thought into the, the regular edition covers. This is the rose accessory Hephaestus made for Aphrodite. And this is a chair Hephaestus crafted for Hera. Oh, oh, the gloss. <laughs> it's so shiny. No. Wait, let me see. Ah, uh, not better. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Oh, I guess you guys can see the picture a bit. Oh yeah, that, that, that's better. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there's a chair and this is the accessory. Wait. So yeah, this is how I make my comic from sketchbook. Sketching out the thumbnail to working working it working on it in the PC on the computer in Clip Studio Paint and eventually I'll output into PDF file and self publish it on Lulu.com. Okay I'm not sponsored. <laughs> Just clarifying. I'm not sponsored. Just sharing with you my experience and how I work. Okay, I hope that was helpful or informative enough. Do let me know if you have any question or if you feel like there are some things that I could talk about more. Uh, that would be helpful because I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure. My mind is kind of blank. I'm not sure what else I should talk about. Just yeah, comment and let me know if you anything you're curious about uh, about my work or any other type of video you feel like I could Zelda CW's work. How I make my comic pages. Hope that was helpful. 
Okay. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. Zelda ZW.com. There's been a website to find out more about my work. All my art. That's it for now. Bye bye.